Young Sheldon endings Jim Parsons change after Big Bang Theory explained by show boss. Hello everyone, my name is Lee M. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The Young Sheldon final reveals a big change in Sheldon's clothing choices, signaling his growth and maturity after the Big Bang Theory. The final wraps up Sheldon's storyline as he prepares to start his post-grad studies in California, leaving Texas behind. While Sheldon's reign on TV has ended for now, there is potential for CBS to revisit his character in the future. But a full-time return of Jim Parsons to the role is highly unlikely. Executive producer Steve Mollero explains why Jim Parsons' Sheldon in the Young Sheldon final flash-forward featured a big change after the Big Bang Theory. After seven years, Sheldon and the Cooper's collective story in Texas wrapped up with an emotional last hour that was kicked off by the aftermath of George's unexpected death. After that, however, the latter half of the special broadcast focused on Sheldon preparing for his move to California to start his post-grad studies. A big part of that was the confirmation that the events of young Sheldon were part of adult Sheldon's effort to write his memoir. Seeing Parsons as his iconic character again was a big treat, but his appearance featured a major change. Sheldon was no longer wearing his signature superhero double shirt getup from the Big Bang Theory. In a new interview relationship with Glamour, Malaro revealed that this was an intentional creative decision to visually represent how much Sheldon had grown since the nerd-centric sitcom. Read his full quote below. Young Sheldon ended with Sheldon arriving at Caltech ready for new challenges. However, Ian Armitage's version of the character still has several years ahead of him before he becomes Jim Parsons' iteration from the Big Bang Theory. Despite that, that is likely it for the socially inept genius stint on the small screen. While the Big Bang Theory universe will continue via a couple of spin-offs on the way, including Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, which will take over its parent series time slot, there are no plans to follow Sheldon's life beyond this point. This means that when CBS returns for its 2024 to 2025 TV season, it will not have a Sheldon-centric project for the first time in almost two decades. The Young Sheldon final also marks the end of Sheldon's reign on TV for 17 years, which started in 2007 when The Big Bang Theory introduced Parsons' original iteration. While Armitage's take on the character can return in Georgie and Mandy's first marriage, it's uncertain if that's in the cards. Even if Sheldon appears, it will only be a cameo. This means that when CBS returns for its 2024 to 2025 TV season, it will not have a Sheldon-centric project for the first time in almost two decades. Given how popular the character is, it isn't outside the realm of possibility that CBS revisits Sheldon and explores other aspects of his life after young Sheldon. Adult Sheldon in the future could be an interesting time setting for the next chapter in his life, although it's unlikely that Parsons would be willing to return full-time to the role. The Big Bang Theory ended because he wanted to walk away from it. In any case, the universe doesn't have any scarcity of other interesting characters, which means that it can thrive even with Sheldon taking the back seat. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay with Tia.